YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today's video is a rather exciting one because I'm going to be doing a new in Sheen clothing haul. I think that's how you say it. Sheen? Shine? I think it's Sheen. But I thought I'd do a haul from there because I don't actually think I've ever ordered anything from there. Now, I may have done it years and years and years ago, but it's not somewhere I regularly shop. It's not somewhere I've shopped in years, if ever, like I say. Um, but do you know what? When I went onto their website, I was so shocked by the variety of different clothing, shoes, different products that they had. It was one of those ones where you know where you're going and you're like, wow, to every single thing. You know, like when you sit and you vision an item of clothing and you think, where will I find that? And you scan the internet trying to find it i feel like when i went on to sheen i was like i've been looking for that i've been looking for that i've been looking for that so i was very very impressed with their website very impressed with the amount of clothing they had and shoes and swimwear and everything to be honest and to be honest i was quite obsessed with pretty much everything on their site so i thought i'd do a try and haul and i thought i could almost do like a little bit of a review as well on what i thought because like i say i don't think i've ever shopped on there if so it was years and years and years ago um what i saw on the website looked amazing but I'm thinking what's the quality going to be like. So I'm really, really excited to try these clothes on today. Fingers crossed the quality is good because some of the clothes I've got I'm obsessed with. So if you are excited for today's video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let's just get straight into it. Okay, so the first product that I bought was this leopard print smock dress. Now, I really liked this because it just looked like one of those dresses that you could chuck on with some chunky trainers or some sliders. And I felt like because it was quite a baggy fitting dress, it would be quite nice for some because it didn't cling to you. It only cost £16.99, which I think is quite good for a nice dress. The only thing I'm a little bit unsure on with this dress is, is it just going to look like a sack? If any of you watched my misguided haul a few weeks ago, you'll know what I mean when I'm saying that grey dress. I thought it was going to look so good and it literally looked like I put a bin bag over my head. So... I'm hoping it looks nice. Now, I did get a size small in this, which I think is an eight, because I didn't want it to be, as I say, too oversized. But yeah, I just thought this was really nice. I loved, like, the puffy sleeves here. I thought it looked really feminine. Loved the leopard print. Loved, like, the colour of it. And like I say, it just looks like a really nice, long, floaty dress, which will be perfect for the hot weather. Okay, what I will say with this dress is I'm so glad that I picked it up in a small, because I don't feel like it looks meh. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's a nice fit for me for this type of dress. I just don't know if it is very me. Let me know in the comments what you think. I do really like it and I really like the pattern and everything like I said. I just don't know if it's a very me dress. I'm not sure. It's a lovely length. It's so comfortable. The material's lovely. I would feel so comfortable like going out in this. I feel like really girly. I'm just not 100%. Let me show you the length. Yeah, that's the length actually a really lovely length and like you say you could wear it with some nice sandals or you could wear it with like some trainers i just i'm just not sure sizing's perfect though like i'm glad i didn't go any bigger or any smaller i'm just not sure if i'm a big fan or not let me know in the comments down below what you think should i keep it or should i send it back also i forgot to say this in my last haul but let me know if you prefer me talking through the try on clips like i am doing today or do you prefer it like when I'm sat showing you it, it just pings up on the screen with me trying it on? Let me know what you prefer. I feel like this way you actually get like a proper review of the clothes. Otherwise, when I try it on, I've already filmed the beginning. Whereas this way, I'm actually talking you through it. But let me know what you prefer and I'll make sure that I do that way next time. Okay, the next thing that I purchased was actually this co-ord. And I was really impressed that it came together because usually with co-ords, you have to buy the top and then the bottom separately. So I was quite impressed that it was together. So we have these shorts, which are lovely. Got a really nice elasticated band. Love this sort of nudie colour. And as you can see there, it just says Tennis Ball Society. I just thought these would be lovely for summer. They're like those tracksuit shorts. So I think they'd be really nice and comfortable. Love the fact that they had um, pockets. And then also, the top that came with it looked like this. It's like your Racer Boy style top. Again, it has the same branding on the front. And I just thought that would look so lovely together. And it wasn't expensive. Let me tell you how much it was. It cost £14.84 and that was for both items. I thought that was such a bargain. Um, I got them in a size medium, which is a size 10. The shorts do look fairly small, so I am hoping they fit. But I just thought that was such a bargain for nearly £15. Absolutely love the co-ord. Let's just start off by showing you the top. Like, how lovely is this? It's like a really lovely fitting, nice crop top. Um, fits perfectly, really love it. Love the style of it, love the material, love all of that. Coming to the shorts, I've said this before and I will say it again, I feel like I sound like a broken record. 
However, the shorts just are not baggy enough. Like, I just feel like they're too short for my liking and they're not like baggy enough and comfortable enough. If you like tight shorts, go through to size. Or if you're anything like me and like them to be a little bit more of a size, then definitely, definitely size up in the shorts. Because they are lovely. They're a lovely material, like really comfortable. Really nice and high waisted, just not long enough and not baggy enough around here for me. So I think I will be sending this back, but I will be ordering it again in a bigger size. However, saying that, because they come together, that means the top's gonna be bigger, but I don't think it'll be too bad if the top's just a little bit bigger. But I can't believe this actually came as a set and it was that cheap. Like, it is a really, really nice set, like I say. Just depending on how you like the fit as to sort of what size to get. Next up we have this khaki sort of bodycon dress. Now, if you know me, you know that I never ever wear bodycon dresses, but I've seen these going around recently and they look really, really nice. So picked it up in khaki just because I love the colour. As you can see, it's ripped and it's one of those dresses where it's ruched up at both sides. So I think you can wear it long or you can pull these and it like goes shorter and like ruched up, which is how I would probably wear it. Um, as you can see, it's quite high up here. It's like quite a high neck. Um, and like I said, yeah, you ruch it up and it'll be like a really nice fitting like bodycon dress. Loved the colour of that. Again, it only cost me £11.87, which I just think so cheap for a nice dress. The quality of this does feel lovely as well and it doesn't look like it's going to be see-through. So I'm hoping it's not. Um, and I got this in a size 10 again, so that was a medium. Okay, now if you know me, you will know that I'm not about them really tight fitted dresses too much anymore. But I absolutely love this dress. Like, it's so lovely. I feel like I love the ruche bit here. I feel like it's such a lovely material. It's really comfortable. I just absolutely love it. I love the fact that it's high up here. I love the colour. I absolutely love everything about it. I have ruched it up, as you can see. However, let me just show you what it looks like if you don't ruche it up because some of you may prefer it like this i have seen these dresses going around everywhere at the minute like everybody seems to be wearing them but i feel like they're just so nice so look you can actually wear it long you could even wear it like that if you wanted to and make it like a little bit more formal or you could pull them both down and wear them both flat like that i just prefer like the ruched up look okay this next one guys honestly i'm absolutely obsessed i think this is definitely the, my favorite pick of the whole haul and um, but i picked up this gingham dress now as you can see it's got thin straps there and the thing that sold this to me was the colors it's got a pastel pink a pastel yellow and a pastel green looks like that as you can see it's got like frill detail here and it's it's basically is it a smock dress is that is that what they're called you know, like where they go tight and then they go out. Now, I picked this up in a size small, um, just because it's floaty and flary anyway, so I thought that would be the perfect size. But I've just looked at the tag and they've actually sent me an extra small, so I'm praying that this fits me, because I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I just think it's so summery. And a bit like what I said earlier on as well, I feel like because it's a really thin, floaty material, it will be ideal for the hotter weather. Because like I say, it just won't stick to you. I just think this is so girly, like I absolutely love it. It's probably one of the nicest dresses I've ever seen for summer. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And it cost me £12.86. I'm sorry, but that, £12.86, it's like a really nice material as well. Don't you just think that is such a bargain? Honestly, guys, get yourself on Sheen. How cute and summery and girly is this dress? I'm a little bit gutted, not going to lie, they sent me an extra small because I feel like a small would have just been like spot on perfect. It is a little bit see-through, as you can see around the brow area. I've got a white brow on and you can blatantly see it. I'm not sure if like a nude brow would be better. But nevertheless, it still does fit. I just feel like the small would have been perfect, if you get what I mean. But I do love it, just as expected. I think it's so girly, so summery, and so comfortable. I just feel like because it's flowy, it's going to feel so nice in the hot weather. I just don't like the fact it's see-through, like, at the top here. And I also feel like the small wouldn't have been, like, as tight around here for me. I do love it. I am really happy with it. The back just looks like that. But yeah, that's what it looks like. The next thing that I purchased was this little ribbed knit tank top um again i really love the color as you can see it's like a lovely lilac color as i've said it is ribbed and i love the fact that it had a collar and no sleeves at all like usually these types of tops have like a little bit of a sleeve and i just really like the fact that it didn't i also love the fact that it's buttoned up at the front and can you see it's like ruched here i just thought that looked really nice um what size did i pick this up in i picked this up in a size medium why I don't know why I went for these sizes and I feel like I should have got a small in this, but 
to be fair you don't like tops being too tight so maybe it's a blessing in disguise um this top cost me eight pound 40 on i'm gonna stop saying oh my god this is such a bargain this is so cheap but you'll see as we go how cheap the clothes are from here so eight pound for this I just thought this would look lovely with like some denim shorts or even just like some comfy shorts you know like the um jogger material ones that we were talking about earlier on it would look good with some jeans a skirt joggers i think it would pretty much go with anything and i was obsessed with the color okay we're not really rocking the outfit so let's just ignore the color of the shorts that i'm wearing but i absolutely love this top i think it's so lovely like i said in the clip before i really like the rouge detail in here and the buttons up here it does fit nicely i feel like i definitely could have got away with the small it would have been a little bit more fitted whereas this is a little bit baggy around the bottom like i say i feel like you could wear it with so many different things but i just think it's so pretty and girly and the color is absolutely beautiful yes from me next up we have another dress and it's this green sort of floral print it's like a really ditzy dress i just thought this would look really nice in summer as you can see sort of ruches in here and you've also got like the tie detail as well so it goes tight at the waist which i think would be really flattering on your figure it's like a long dress you can't even really see it in the camera you'll see it on the clip in a second and it's just a really lovely thin cotton again it feels like a really good quality but it doesn't feel too thick where it's going to be like too warm um what are the sleeves like let's have a little look so the sleeves are just your standard length sleeves as you can see it's got a collar here so it can look quite formal i just think this would be lovely in summer maybe when you want to dress up a little bit more wear it with some really nice sandals or you could wear it casual with some trainers or i also think you could actually get away with wearing this for a wedding a christening baby shower any type of formal event like that i also think you could wear it for that's why i loved it so much because i thought it was so versatile you can dress it up you can dress it down and i loved the color love a bit of green at the moment and i'm in need of some nice dresses for summer and that one cost me 15 pound 83 by the way i know these are like weird prices like 15 pound 83 i feel like there was like a little bit of a sale on or it was reduced a little bit i'm just looking and before it was 15 pound 99 so i don't know if i got like a little bit of a discount who knows but even £15.99 is still a bargain okay not 100% sure on this it reminds me of you know when you're at school and you wear those checkered dresses it reminds me of that and it also makes me feel like I should be in something like the sound of music singing the hills are alive like it's just not a bit of me I just I mean it is pretty and if this is your kind of style then 100% but I just if i'm honest don't think i'd get much wear out of it it is a really nice material like i say love the fact that it like ties here really cinches you in at the waist i also love as well that it's like a thick elastic here look so like feels really nice it's not just like a really thin bit of elastic I'll just put you up again um it's a really nice fit so i would definitely definitely go true to size if you do get it um this fits me absolutely perfectly but i just don't think it's a bit of me so i feel like this We'll definitely be going back. Next up, we have this black sort of waffle knit play suit. It's actually described on the website as a waffle knit romper, um, but it is like a play suit, as you can see. If I just try and show you close up, I don't even know if you'll be able to see that. The waffle knit sort of material, but it feels like a really lovely material. Again, not too thick, but also a good quality. Um, I just thought this would be really nice for when you go on holiday or maybe when you're in the garden chilling out. You know when it's hot, but you just want a chill day and you want to be comfortable. Um, so as you can see, it's just like a play suit like this. It is a V-neck. And it also comes with this sort of belt so you can tie it around and again it'll cinch you in at the waist which i thought was really nice i picked this up in a size medium i mean it doesn't look like a medium it looks pretty small but we'll give it a go and this cost 10 pound 88 okay i do really really like this but if i've learned anything so far in this haul it's bottom half go bigger top half go smaller um it's a really, really, really lovely play suit. Like the material, the fit, everything about it is just absolutely beautiful. However, a little bit short for my liking. I feel like I should have maybe gone up a size and it would have been a little bit more baggy and maybe longer. It's not that short where you can see at the bum cheek, but I just prefer things a little bit longer. So I would say if you like things short, go through to size if you like things a little bit longer maybe just size up i'm hoping that would be a little bit longer on the length for us but i'm not 100 percent sure apart from that though i absolutely love it like it's so lovely i don't know what do we think let me know in the comments i feel like this type of size is fine if you're going on holiday or something but if i was just to be like walking around going shopping something like that i would want it a lot longer i'm really indecisive on this one 
help me out and let me know in the comments what you think. Speaking to the summer theme, I then picked up some paper bag shorts. They're in like a really lovely cotton material. Um, so they feel like a really lovely quality again. I love the fact that the paper bag, because I think I said this on previous hauls, but it, again, just since you're doing it the waist, I have a real issue with shorts and jeans and things like that because I've got bigger legs and bum, but I'm quite a small waist. So whenever I buy like a size medium or 10 in bottoms, it's really big, big around the waist, but fits my legs perfect. If I buy it small, it's the other way around. So I feel like with the paper bag waist, it's just perfect because you can buy the 10 or the medium and they fit you perfect around the leg. And then because they are paper bag, they're elasticated, but then sit really nicely around your waist as well. I thought these look quite expensive. I kind of feel like you could buy these from like Zara or somewhere like that. They don't look cheap. They look like a nice size and they also look like a really nice length as well. But I just think pairs of shorts like this for summer are ideal because you can tuck them on with pretty much anything and you can be comfortable but also still look nice at the same time and to make it even better they only cost me £10.39. I don't really know how I'm feeling about these shorts. I feel like they are lovely, lovely shorts, like really nice material. They feel lovely like and fitted around the waist. I just, do you ever get those items of clothing that just don't feel nice on your body? That's how I feel these are. Like, I feel like I would have wanted these to be a little bit more baggy. I feel like they wouldn't be that comfortable throughout the day. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I feel like for me, I maybe would have gone one size bigger just for them to maybe look a little bit more of a size around here. Um, if you like fitted shorts, then definitely go true to size because I have and this is what they look like. If you are anything like me and do prefer sort of like oversized clothing, I would just go up another size. Like I say, I just, I would have liked them to be a little bit more oversized like here. Does that even make sense? I mean, they're a lovely short, but I'm just not obsessed with them. Like, I do really like this bit. I love the fact that they're, they're like a really nice elastic round here. Love the buttons, they fit nice here. It's really hard to explain. They just don't feel nice on my body. So it is gonna be a no from me. Would it really be Nelly Waddler haul if we didn't have some form of shirt in there? Um, but I picked up this bright pink linen shirt. Now it's a lovely, really thin material, which again is ideal for summer loved the shade of pink i've seen these around recently i've seen them in primark and also in zara i don't know why i didn't pick them up before but i have been obsessing over them so when i saw this one i had to pick it up as you can see it's got like a pocket here at the front like i say it's a really lovely material and it looks like a decent length as well it looks like it's quite long at the back which is what we like the only thing i would say which i'm not too sure on about this shirt is it's got like slits in the side but they look like they come really high up i feel like they like sit on your waist a little bit and it's got them at both sides i'm not quite sure how i feel about that but we'll know when we try it on and um, it wasn't that expensive either let me tell you how much it cost 15 pounds 34 for a shirt which is not bad at all and i picked it up in a size 10. i mean wow color central let's just ignore that but i'm not really a big fan of this shirt i don't think guys i feel like it's just not like a nice fitting shirt now i know i've obviously not done the buttons up so they wouldn't look as bad as they currently do I just feel like it just doesn't fit very nice at all. And like I thought, the slits are just feel too far up. Let me just move the camera down and show you. I don't know if you get what I mean, but I feel like these are just so far up at both sides. It is a nice length at the back, but I just feel like it just, it's not really a nice fit at all. Love the colour, love the material, not so keen on the fit of it. I'm really good about that as well. Okay, the next thing isn't actually clothes related, but I picked up this little wash bag or makeup bag. I suppose you could use it for whatever you wanted. Um, now, I actually purchased a really nice um, makeup bag from Primark the other week, which I've actually been using a, as a wash bag, which I really, really like for when I go away. So I was thinking this more for like, you know, when you go on holiday and you want to put your sun creams and stuff in something, or even as a makeup bag. Um, I just loved how simple it was. I love that it's like transparent with like the black border and the fact that it just says wash bag they had this in so many different colors i feel like they had it in white all clear they had it in like a baby pink so it was like clear with a baby pink they had different words i feel like they had wash bag makeup load of stuff like that and um, but i just liked this one i thought it was quite simple and i really liked the black on it as well loved the fact that it had a little handle and do you know what guys it's actually a lot bigger than what i thought it was going to be i don't even know if the camera is sort of doing it justice but it's absolutely huge like i don't even know if that shows you 
so much bigger than my head and i just think you can never have too many of these it cost me £4.45 too which i just think is such a bargain okay now can you really do a sheen order and not get swimwear i feel like sheen is known for its swimwear it had such a massive variety i can't even explain to you like that is a place to go for swimwear if you want variety they had so many swimming costumes things to wear on the pool bikinis they literally had everything so again i'm hoping that they fit um, I'm not actually going to try the bikinis on, but I will show you what I got. Um, so, the first one that I got was a bikini, and it's a high-waisted bikini bottom. So, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's just your standard black with a white sort of band around the top. And like I said, this is meant to be high-waisted, so I loved that. And then the top that you get with it is this one. Now, it is padded, but you can remove the pads. And I just liked the fact it was like a triangle standard bra. I feel like these are ideal when you're on the pool because you can just take like your arms out of the sleeves and things, can't you? And you can get that tan. Also, I've really liked the band as well. It's not just one of those tie ones. I liked the fact that it was quite a chunky one. But I think that's lovely. What size did I buy this in? I bought this in a size medium. Like I said, I don't really know what the sizing is going to be like. Um, I will let you know in one of our vlogs what it was like and what the fit was like. But it looks like an okay size to be fair, so I think it's going to fit me okay. It cost me £10.39 for the set. Another bikini, which can I just say I'm absolutely obsessed with this colour. It's like a textured bikini but as you can see it's in like this really lime green which I absolutely love. Let me just show you what it looks like close up. Can you see it's like a nice textured pattern? Um, like I say I'm just obsessed with the colour. I think this is meant to be high waisted as well but that's what the bottoms look like and then the top for this one is slightly different. It's like a bandeau top. Is it a bandeau? Is that what they're called? But it has the straps. This is what this looks like. I really like the fact, you know, like some bandu tops are like straight like this. This sort of goes down a little bit, which I really liked. And I really like the fact as well that the back of it is quite small. It's not really thick. But yeah, I was just obsessed with the colour of that. And that's mainly why I picked it up. And again, that cost me £10.88 for the bottoms and the top. Next up, we have this blue and white wave print bikini. And the top, as you can see, well, I don't even know if you can tell on here, but it's underwired. And I've never actually had a bikini that's been underwired. So let me know in the comments below if you've had one and what they're like. Um, again, it's got removable pads. So it is padded, but you can take them out. Um, and as you can see, this is just like your standard bikini top. Again, really nice sort of, it is a thin back, but it's not like one of just the tie around ones, which I like. I feel like it makes it look a little bit more expensive. Um, that's what the top looks like. And then as for the bottoms, I don't think these are high waisted. They may be, maybe could be, they don't look too much. But let me just show you the print up close. As you can see, it's like a blue and white wave print, which I thought was lovely. Um, I just thought it was a really nice set. And I thought the top was a little bit different because it had the underwiring, which I wanted to try. Again, I got it in a size medium. I got all my bikinis and swimwears in a size medium and it cost me £10.39. Okay, the next piece of swimwear that I got was actually like a swimsuit. Um, so I got this colour block. It's like different colours with like a cutout as you can see um at the front and the back i just really like the style of this i really like the fact that it like knotted at the front loved the color palette and i just thought it looked a little bit different to like your standard swimming costume let me just try and show you as best as i can so that's what it looks like at the front and then at the back it's just like that but obviously you've got your strap at the back as well i thought that was lovely again it feels like a really nice material so i'm hoping it's not going to be see-through again it's got your removable pads and yeah that's pretty much all there is to say about it but i like how high waisted this is and i like that this bit's the bit that's cut out however saying that it's not really an ideal swimming costume to sunbathing is it i feel like this is one that you'd want to wear when you're maybe going somewhere and want to look nice again size medium and this one cost me 11 pound 87 and then the final swimsuit that i bought and the final item that i bought in my haul was another swimsuit um, and it's like this tropical print so as you can see it's like a really nice teal color at the top and then the bottom half is like white with teal leaves on which i thought was really nice really summery really holiday-ish is that even a word um as you can see this one's cut out there as well and it's got your knot and then at the back it doesn't sort of do up like the last one where you have to help if i showed you it properly where you have to clip it it's already done up but you've got the back missing as well again really lovely high waisted really lovely quality and i feel like this is going to actually fit me really really nicely it feels like a really thick material so i don't think it's going to be see-through but let's 
just keep everything across from me because can you imagine white swimsuit being see-through wouldn't be ideal now would it again i bought this in a size medium and it cost me 11 pound 87 now like i say with all the bikinis and swimwear i'm not going to try them on but i will update you in my next vlog and let you know what they're like because if you're anything like me i've been seeing sheen pop up for absolutely ages now and i've never really bought it i feel like it used to be a much smaller brand but now it seems to be getting more popular and people are starting to really rave about the the site let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever bought anything from this website and what you thought to it um but i will give you my honest review on the swimwear when i actually try it on and i'll update you in another vlog so guys that is going to go ahead and end today's video i really really hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if there are any other clothing brands that you would like me to do a haul let me know in the comments down below and once again thank you so much for watching we shall see you in the next one bye